I had to open my entire bag at the security check and it was crazy. Look what just happened to this. I was almost denied to take the flight because of the stupid thing which I realized on time. The airport security or the ground staff rules at the airport keeps changing and we definitely do not want to mess up with that, especially when you are reaching the airport at the very last moment of boarding. So here are some of the do's and don'ts that you should prepare for if you are on a filming trip and this is applicable for any country. The biggest tip that I'll give you in this video is to travel as light as possible. You got to plan your entire gears that you're going to use in the entire shoot plan that you're going to travel for. So carry only the equipments that you really need because it's going to be really heavy throughout your journey and it'll be very tiresome, trust me. You need to invest on a proper camera bag. Without that, you're not moving anywhere. Otherwise, you're going to lose all your equipments. It's just going to be spoiled. So here are two options. This one is a full-size uh, camera bag which also has the compartment for my laptop it's kind of big because this is good for uh, you know like the canon canon body sizes the big sizes but on the other hand i also have the other option which is a tinier bag this is smaller than 15 inch laptop so it's, it does not have a laptop case but the rest it's quite tiny and it's easy for you to travel with both of these bags they have a waterproof uh, covering and the compartments are really dedicated to all the space with all the cushioning so if this is the first time that you're carrying all the equipments by air i will suggest you to reach the airport at least two hours earlier so that you can avoid any complication if there's anything if the security guys they will ask you to go back to the check-in counter and get your stuff back at least you'll have that extra time and you'll be able to catch the flight so here's a real experience once that happened with me in Bangalore airport, I was denied to take my umbrella and at the security check, they asked me to leave it there. The reasoning, this is a sharp object and can be easily used as a weapon. I was totally late and I had to let my favorite umbrella go because the flight was important. So I started carrying my tripods in the check-in baggage just to avoid all these harassments. Don't take these tripods in the hand carry. It's always better to have this in your check-in luggage. Never carry any of these in your hand carry because this is the security guy's favorite object. They will always keep it back and you'll lose it. Sometimes you're, you have an expensive Swiss Army knife or something like that, you'll never get it. It will be confiscated. You will have to open everything out, I mean each and every gear out on the tray for security check and it has to be done fast. Follow the rules, don't act smart, they know their job. You won't get the time again to organize till you reach your destination. Till then, just chill and cooperate. Now let's talk about the drone. Drones in India are quite restricted and you have to be very, very aware about all the laws and it keeps changing. The rules keep changing. So first thing is uh, nano drones, which are under 250 grams. They're still allowed. You can fly them. You can even fly them without a license. But when you are restricted, when you are approaching the security check, you need to make sure that the drone is in your check-in luggage and the battery is out. Make sure the battery from the drone is out and only the body of the drone. In fact, I remove even the propellers just to make sure that there's no complication. So the drone without the battery goes in your check-in luggage and the battery, I carry it in the hand carry. So they might even ask you about if you're carrying any drone or something, you can just tell them that it is under 250 grams and they'll let you be. Even for gimbals, I keep the heavier side, the top side of the gimbal in the check-in bag and the battery compartment. That is the only thing that I put it in my hand carry because that way I'll be able to travel lighter. In my, I want to keep my hand carry lighter so that whatever things that I need to use while I'm in the aircraft or maybe on the, on the go, I should be able to access that. But on the other hand, all the batteries possible, battery compartments, lithium batteries or pencil batteries or whatever batteries, because all of these, they have to be in your to further understand about why content creation, here's the video. And if you wanna check about my entire desk setup, you can even check the video on this side, all right? See you.